mind med investors hold and buy more Now, as you can see, it's already dropping today as I am speaking right now. Now, I am not here to give you the detailed financials with charts, percentages, and videos of me interviewing CEOs. I am sure you can find other YouTubers that can give you that. Because if you are here watching my video, that means you already have an idea about the investment that I'm going to discuss about, or you are familiar with the sector. And you came here because you want the truth, the real, the real real, the new new, my personal insight on investments that will add not subtract to your portfolio so I am going to give it to you real and I'm going to give it to you without any fluff so pew pew that like button smash all the bells and whistles so you can get all my updates on these fantastic investment opportunities and comment below on what you think now if you don't have much time to watch this whole video or you just don't want to watch the whole video as if you have somewhere to go during quarantine <laughs> but if you do no problem to summarize the point of this this video buy more mind med hold mind med because that is what I will be doing okay so yes I am positioned in mind med but I was not positioned as other mind med investors were who bought shares below two dollars I have been analyzing this stock since it was below a dollar a couple of months ago very very recently and a couple of months ago it was way below two dollars I have heard all the hype from all these Canadian economists including billionaire Kevin O'Leary you probably know him from Shark tank or dragon's den if you're canadian and after days of chart watching and seeing the numbers rising exponentially daily i felt confident in jumping in and when i say confident i really mean i was going through fomo fear of missing out so i feared out on missing out and luckily because i have a wealth simple trade account I was able to jump in without paying any commission fees giving me some hope that if i wanted to get out there will be no fees for selling the same way if i wanted to jump in there will be no fees for buying and it was simply by the click of a button and by using my wealth simple trade link below in the description box you will get ten dollars of real money for free signing up takes a couple of minutes and you can get your ten dollars ready to trade and guess what i jumped in at three dollars and seventy four cents on my med and no lie within 30 minutes it jumped to four dollars and 27 cents right in the nick of time that is when i knew the hype was real the fomo the same fomo that i experienced the reason why i jumped in which also got the best of many other investors as well as it made the stock jump tremendously in a matter of hours and funny thing is it was not because of any new updates on the company or on the drugs that they are currently working on it was simply the hype and not missing the ride i have never bought a stock due to fomo due to fearing missing out but this one was my first and oh was it a volatile ride for the next day or two it just went up and down up and down up and down and as i'm recording right now and as i'm watching the stock right now it is continuously going down at this moment it is at three dollars and ninety cents you know what that means buying time for me now based on the week's news of a 50 million dollar dilution of shares which just happened the other uh, last week in the past few days uh, which means MindMed is putting $50 million worth of shares out there to the public to raise more money, the shares surely did take a reverse. And because of this reverse, the shares took a hit. And the reverse of FOMO happened. Instead of fear of missing out, shareholders were fear of maximizing profits. They were fomping. Yes, I created a new word. So if anybody says fomp, you, you heard it here first. So they were fomping fear of maximizing profit and with all this profit taking yesterday the stock took a major hit which dropped the share price over a dollar and guess what people are still in a moment of selling because this morning it went down even further at this moment it is currently at three dollars and ninety cents so again as i said for me it is buying time and so that's what I did. So I rallied up a few more shares in my portfolio of my med at the price point of $3.90. And that did not raise my average too much because once 
it averaged out, it came up to $3.88. And currently I am comfortable with the place I am with my med, with the amount of shares that I have, with the price point of my average. And now I am patiently waiting on them to be listed on the NASDAQ. And of course I am only buying on major dips that won't hurt my average too much, such as days like today. So now that you know my skin is in the game for my med, and to answer why am I still buying on dips and holding long? Well, here are my five reasons why. First one, although MindMed can be labeled as a typical psychedelic drug company in the same category as many MJ drug companies, it is differentiated, meaning it is different because it is only for medical use and not recreational use. So even though it is dealing with psychedelics, they are not creating products or doing what they're doing because they want everyone to have, they are solely doing it for medical use. And in Canada, from what I've heard, once a company or a major company or even a developing company starts messing around with recreational drugs, uh, anti-drug advocacy groups start lobbying. They start coming after these companies, ultimately affecting revenue, price points, ultimately affecting shareholders. And this is one of the reasons why the MJ sector did not explode as it was hoped to be. And because MyMed is medical use only, there are no groups lobbying to shut them down so they can direct their funds to growing and not trying to fight off anti-drug uh, advocacy groups. Two, Canada, the country, is in the process of decriminalizing all drugs at the federal level. Yes, all drugs at the federal level. And Vancouver, which is a province in Canada, has already decriminalized all drugs at the provincial level. Yes, all drugs. So with illegal drugs pretty much being legal in small quantities, it makes MindMed in the right position to have legal access to a variety of drugs to test for research and development. Their accessibility and leadership in this field will continue to grow immensely as other companies will seek to use their data and findings for their own, which in turn increases MindMed's revenue, which increases share price. My third reason. My third reason is this is not the only the beginning. Some parts of Europe and some parts of South America are currently working on psychedelic drugs for medical use as well. And other than Compass uh, Pathways, who is the current leader in psychedelic drug and running the leaderboard at the moment, MindMed is looked at as a close second in this sector. Not yet in market cap, but since there are some companies in this sector with a bigger market cap, but, a, but MindMed is a close second when it comes to opportunities, groundbreaking findings, and global relationships. So their reach is more than just money. Even though their market cap is growing rapidly, amassing over a half a billion dollars in market space in just the last couple of months. This shows the level of confidence that both the public and institutional agencies have in MindMed. My fourth reason. With all the hype from YouTubers, venture capitalists, uh, medical, the medical world, and of course other MindMed fans, woo, it just seems to be the thing to be in right now. But for me, I always look to more than just the stock when buying or watching a stock. You should look at the future, five, 10, 15, 20 years from now. Think about, will this company's goods or services be needed, or is this just a trend? And there is by no means nothing wrong with investing in trends, as I do that as well. But I personally do not think MindMed is a trend. By looking at the patterns of society's transitions from one era to another, it is simple to get an idea of what the future will look like. And it is clear to see the need for medicine to evolve. Society needs to accept non-traditional medicines and therapies as a choice among other options, from sound therapy to energy balancing to psychedelics. As we emerge out of the Roni situation that we are in, oh yeah, <laughs> if you haven't watched my previous videos, I call the situation that we're currently in the Roni situation, uh, so that way my videos do not get censored. Oh, and by the way, you can check my video about censorship as well, which I just posted a few days ago, which goes through censorship, uh, what it looks like, and what censorship means in the future for us. Now back to the main point. Uh, so as we emerge out of the Roni and into the Great Reset, Oh, by the way, which I will have a video uh, posted about the Great Reset in the coming days. So look out for that. Okay, no more plugging. 
Oh wait, oh and make sure to subscribe and like this video uh, to stay updated with all my new posts on mind med, psychedelics, numinous, um, my REITs, um, pretty much my portfolio, my investing opportunities and so on. Okay, so no more plugging. Okay, so there will be an increase of anxiety, depression, insomnia and addictions. And these are all what mind med treats. So not only will demand for mental health treatments rise, but so will the revenue and so will the market cap and then so will the share prices. <sighs> and finally, my fifth reason, the NASDAQ. The big one. This is what most shareholders are waiting for, including myself. If you don't know, MindMed is currently not listed on the NASDAQ and has applied to be listed on the NASDAQ and should hear back in the next coming weeks. What this means is MindMed is currently sitting in the $4 range as this video is being recorded. And from a historical point of view, companies who get listed to the NASDAQ tend to jump higher due to the larger audience that the NASDAQ will expose them to. Many economists and speculators have estimated that MindMed will hit the $10 range before being listed on the NASDAQ and this will double once it does. I highly disagree however. Personally, my target price for MindMed is not $20 plus dollars as soon as it hits the NASDAQ, but I am forecasting an $8 pre-NASDAQ price level and a $12 price target once it has been listed. Of course, it will go up from there over time, but initially it will be volatile as the early shareholders, like many of you, start selling and reaping profits and new shareholders start buying now that it is available on their trading platform. Even if MindMed drops after the NASDAQ listing, or even if it does not do well in any of its trials or just some of its trials, or maybe the psychedelics do not get the legal acceptance that many of us have planned. But regardless of what happens, MindMed and psychedelic medicine is the future. It is the new branch in the medical and pharmaceutical world and is here whether we like it or not. And, is it, and it is also shaking up the medical world. And in the case of their company, MindMed, it is a solid company with strong numbers, a strong team, and a great commitment. But remember, it is still a speculative stock. So read your news updates, listen to the interviews, and keep track of the numbers. Because bumpy or not, we are in for a trippy ride. And also remember, I am not a financial advisor. So make sure you do your own research and consult your own financial professional. So if you like this stock update on MindMed, please subscribe, like, and share. I will be posting update number two of MindMed in the next day or so, especially now that the next round of stimulus is around the corner. Many of us are going to start dumping our money into the market. And I will highlight some of my other psychedelic penny stocks that I am also patiently waiting for to be listed on the NASDAQ. So stay tuned and comment below with what you think will happen to MindMed in the coming days and weeks or even in the psychedelic industry. I'll be making plenty of more financial and investment videos on my channel where I will be sharing with you my financial tips, my diverse investment portfolio, what investments I am buying and selling in 2021 and let's all start 2021 together on a journey of health, love and success. So until the next video, stay ranting.